DocApp Connector is a new tool from AvPoint and part of the DocApp Storage Optimization Suite. Over time, the growth of data in your SharePoint farm will begin to cause inactive data, uh, old data, and abandoned sites to really build up so that the amount of data that you have in your SQL Server relative to the amount of active content begins to diverge in a dramatic fashion. The problem with this is that SQL Server stores all this content in a content database. So over time, the performance of your SQL Server is going to degrade. These tools from AppPoint are designed to give you different options to put the data from SQL Server in different places specific to the rules you need. So examples of this could be, well, you know, we have a large file share or SAN storage device. We want to put the blobs, the large binary large objects, on the file share, the, the fast file share. Or you may have a legacy device, maybe an older system or an older document management system that's great for file shares that you want to take advantage of. Another example could be utilizing the cloud. We want to put all of our archived or old documents or old team sites up in the cloud and define rules for that. That's what these tools are designed to do. Now, DocAv Connector is a little bit different from a migration strategy. In a migration strategy, you want to move everything into SharePoint and basically all that content is going to live inside your SQL Server content database. The burden of storage is going to be on SharePoint and your SQL Server configuration and basically you're going to take that older system, migrate the content, and decommission it. Now, that might work great in some scenarios. You may have a scenario, though, where you have this system and it's still functioning, but you just don't want that system to be what's managing the content and the data. So that's where DocApp Connector comes in. DocApp Connector, the data is still going to be available through SharePoint, but the data itself is left on the legacy system. Um, so if you want to think about it from an accounting point of view, you're giving some second, some more life to your uh, older systems and you're really stretching the value of that investment. The burden of the storage is on your legacy system. The management and the metadata of that data will be inside of SharePoint. And so it's, it, once you set it up, it's kind of a connect and forget scenario. DocAd Connector, like I was saying, gives you connections to existing data stores. Um, it also gives you solutions around populating digital asset libraries. Now, these could be videos. These could be very large files, typically things that you would not put inside of SharePoint. ISO, images of, of DVDs um, that are typically used within the company. Maintain it, all that inside of SharePoint, but the data itself is living somewhere else. And since it is a native SharePoint application, it's going to work with all your SharePoint workflows, alerts, office apps. Let's show you how this works right here. So a site designer is going to create a content library. And they're going to synchronize the content library with some kind of file storage or cloud storage where that data lives. And the metadata itself will be loaded from the source. I'll give you an example of this in just a minute. When the user looks at it, uh, they're going to see a SharePoint list or a document library. Uh, they're not even going to know that what they're looking at is a large file that's sitting on the file share somewhere. The content metadata and the stubs will be managed in SQL Server, but the data itself is going to be somewhere else. Let's take a look at that. So here I have my portal. And this is under the consulting portal inside of, of Eastridge for our consultants. You can see I have a document library here called ISOs. Now, these are actual DVD images of disks that we use a lot whenever we rebuild a system or maybe build something for a customer. Things like BizTalk, Project, SharePoint Designer, Visio, um, SQL Server 2008. If I click on this folder, I'm going to click on the SharePoint folder. Well, here's the Office Professional 2007 folder. You see I have two ISOs out here, uh, and they're pretty large. One is 420 meg, and the other one is 573 meg. Um, typically not things you would put inside of SharePoint, and we have it. 
All we have here is the metadata for these documents. The actual documents themselves are stored on a file share. Let's see if we can find that. So here's Windows Explorer. It's showing my file server. I'm in the ISO library under Office Professional 2007, and here's the images, 420, 573 meg. This is where the actual blob lives, but in SharePoint, it looks like it's right here in my portal. The only difference you can see here is there is a synchronization button. So it's going to synchronize on a calendar schedule, but for example, if something new was loaded, we wanted to synchronize right now, we could synchronize the folder or the folder in all of its subfolders immediately. That's, that's something that's different uh, or new with the app point tool. If we look at the administration tool from AppPoint, under storage optimization, I have the connector option here. I can look at the settings for either the content library, which is just basically large files, or the media library, which is focused on um, either uh, large digital images or videos, streaming videos. We have some settings in here um, re related to the name of the document library that we're mapping to. In this case, it's the Eastridge ISO library. And then we can set up specific functional settings, properties, um, and then actually specify security mapping for um, different users if it's different from the security settings that we're trying to uh, enforce inside of SharePoint. Notice also there's a cloud storage settings tab right here that I don't have turned on immediately. But basically you would set up a profile for something like Rackspace. In fact, Rackspace.com has a built-in um, integration with the AppPoint tools. So it's very slick and straightforward to integrate with the Rackspace.com.